SAP Business One Release 9.0 has the ability to create purchase requisitions, which can be used as a preliminary step to the whole purchasing process. Jason Butler is the General Manager for OEC Computers. His sales team is planning a sales roadshow at the end of the month, and Jason wants to purchase three iPads for his sales managers in preparation for their roadshow. To do this, Jason simply creates a purchase request for delivery in time for the roadshow. Jason navigates to the purchasing menu and then selects the purchasing request document. This purchase request will notify the purchasing department of any items he needs to order, the quantity and the time frame in which his sales team needs these items. Jason needs delivery of these iPads by the end of next week, which he indicates in the required date field. He then selects the type of iPads he wants and the required quantity. He can do this by selecting the item description and then types in the required quantity of three. Jason would also like to be notified as soon as a purchase order or goods received purchase order has been created for this request and he does that by making sure this checkbox is checked. Jason can now add the document to the system. At OEC Computers, any purchase requests over $250 requires management approval. This allows the company to track expenses before they are made in order to remain within their budget. It also creates a paper trail to assist with the audit of any purchases. Jason has now just received a request for document approval. Being the General Manager of OEC Computers, Jason has the authorization to approve this request himself. So Jason enters the request and changes the decision from pending to approved and then submits the request for approval. Once approved, the actual creator of the purchase request will then receive a document generation approval notification in their message and alerts overview window. By selecting this, they can then drill directly into the purchase request document and given the purchase request is still in draft mode, now it's been approved, the creator can submit this document to the system. I am now logged in to SAP Business One as Fred Beyer, who is the purchasing manager for OEC Computers. Purchase requests save time for the purchasing department because it gives them all the information they need to create a purchase order. Fred now wants to open up the purchase request report to check any outstanding requests for the day. He does this by navigating to the purchasing menu, purchasing reports and then selects the purchase request report. He ensures that this checkbox is ticked to display all open purchase requests only. We now have visibility of all open purchase requests that need processing. We can also see the latest purchase request that Jason created earlier today. We can also see the item description. We can drill directly down into the purchase request, the required date, the required quantity, and any other relevant information, including the requester name. By right-clicking on the item code, we also have instant access to other information such as the current inventory status, available to promise information, and also things like alternative items for this particular item. If I click on alternative items, I can see that there is an alternative item that's available if this item isn't in stock. Given that the requested date for delivery is next week, Fred is able to create an immediate purchase quotation or purchase order directly from the purchase request report. To do this, he simply selects the item that he would like to create a purchase order or purchase quotation for. He selects the preferred vendor for this particular item. And then he selects the Create button and clicks on Purchase Order. A purchase order has now been automatically created for this particular item. 
As you can see, there are two other purchase requests for similar items that Fred would like to consolidate into one purchase quotation. He can do this by going to the Purchase Quotation Generation Wizard. By navigating to the Purchase Quotation Wizard, he can then create a new Purchase Quotation parameter. He would like to select his purchase quotations based on purchase requests. And in this window, in this step, you've got the option to actually select which items you would like to include in your purchase quotation. We can now actually select the specific line items that we would like to include and their relevant vendors. So here we're going to select our preferred vendor for these items, which happen to be the same vendor. And therefore one purchase quotation will be created for these purchase requests. By clicking next, we can preview the results of the purchase quotation and now we've got the option to execute and actually create a purchase quotation for these purchase request items. We now have the ability to drill down to the actual purchase quotation that was created for these particular items and from there we can also simply copy to a purchase order or goods receipt purchase order once the purchase quotation is approved. So as you can see, there are two ways to actually execute purchase requests. You can execute them from a purchase request report, or you can actually execute a purchase request from within the Purchase Quotation Wizard by grouping purchase requests together for particular vendors. We are now logged into SAP Business One as Jason Butler, who is immediately presented with a message alert that a purchase order has been created for his purchase request. He can then drill down to his actual purchase request and see that the purchase request is now closed. By right-clicking on the purchase request document, he has the ability to actually open up the relationship map. By doing this, Jason has a full overview of all of the documents that have been created that relate to his purchase request document. He can see that this purchase order has been created. By double-clicking on the document tree, he can then drill directly down into the actual purchase order and confirm the delivery date in which his items will be delivered by. Jason is now confident that his sales team will receive their iPads in time for their sales roadshow. In SAP Business One Release 9.0, purchase requests can be used for both items and services and this feature is available to all SAP Business One license types.